Hey, welcome back to One More Guitar. Um, all right, so I got a new guitar here. Um, what I have in this box is a uh, Squire Classic Vibe 50s Telecaster. And you may be asking why after a decade of this guitar being out that I decided to buy this now. So basically what happened is I started Telecaster shopping because I don't have one. After doing a little research and watching some videos, I found that a lot of people really like the classic vibe Telecaster and, you know, they were fairly affordable. So I thought, um, pick this one up and, you know, see, see what it's like. When I watched a bunch of videos and read reviews, um, I was reading reviews that have been coming out for the last 10 years and um, the guitar looked really good. Um, it came with brass saddles and it had dome knobs and it was a pine body. Um, it had some other, you know, vintage correct stuff. So I was really excited about it. So right before I ordered it, um, I started looking at some pictures and realized the pictures I saw did not have brass saddles. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. You know, I, th I thought this came with brass saddles for sure. So I started looking it up and as you may know, um, last year, 2019, they started making um, the Classic Vibe series in Indonesia. And when they did that, they changed a few things. Um, the string tree is no longer in the right position. Um, the dome knobs are now flat knobs. The brass saddles are chrome. So, you know, I was a little disappointed by that. So I ordered the guitar, and then the next day I was looking around on the internet, just looking at guitar stuff like I do, and uh, came across somebody saying that they use tall, narrow frets now instead of uh, medium jumbo. So I went and looked that up, sure enough, tall, narrow frets. So I decided, well, I need to look at these specs a little more closely, I guess. And I started looking at it, and I'm on Guitar Center's site, and uh, it says that it has an alder body instead of pine and that the neck profile was a slim C, which I thought it was going to be a little thicker than that. So, you know, I was a little bummed out about that, to be honest, but I thought, well, again, it's affordable guitar. And as long as it sounds good, I'm good with it. I looked on, um, you know, Sweetwater's site, and I looked on Z Sounds, and like I got on Amazon, too. And I started noticing that the descriptions were different. There was something different almost on every site. So, um try to look at that real quick. So the first discrepancy was the body type. On Guitar Center's site it says it has an alder body and that surprised me because pretty much everywhere else says it has pine. You can see here that Amazon listed as pine and so does Sweetwater and Z Sounds. Speaking of Z Sounds, uh, they list the nut material as bone and uh, that kind of surprised me too. I couldn't believe that you would get a bone nut at this price range um, but I checked Sweetwater's site and it also says a bone nut. But just to make sure, I checked Amazon, and it said what I expected, a synthetic bone nut. Now, that's a little misleading. Um, it's not unexpected at this price range, but, you know, it's kind of disappointing. So as you can tell, it's a little confusing to what actually comes on a classic Vibe 50s Telecaster these days. So now, I'm uh, pretty excited again because I have no idea what I'm actually getting in this box. So um, I'm about to just cut it open, and we'll find out together. All right, let's see what we got. Got our receipt here. Get the square box out of here. We got down to this box, but before I get into this, um, they said that it's an alder body now on one of those sites instead of pine. Uh, that concerns me a little bit because alder isn't really known for having a good grain. And the old models seem to have a really nice grain to them. And that was one of the things I liked about them. So I'm a little concerned about that. And uh, I'm also concerned that it's heavy. Um, let's open it up here and uh, see what we got. Maybe I can make this easier on myself. Okay. Well, that was a mess. All right. So now we've got it out of the box. Let's see what we got here. 
looking good so far. I think something fell. Ah, I'll look for that in a minute. All right, what do we have? Put that in the box. Damn, that looks pretty good. So let's see if you can see that grain in there. It's actually pretty good. Got some, some specks. You can see those. black specks down there. I'll try to clean that off later. Maybe just some dust from the warehouse or from shipping or something. But uh, yeah, feels good. Looks good. Here's the neck. It's the headstock. You can see the string tree is down here. It used to be up here. Um, Definitely have chrome saddles. Definitely have flat knobs. Next glossy. I can fix that. Doesn't feel bad though. I think it feels pretty good. I like it. It's really not that heavy. It doesn't feel heavier than anything else that I play. Let's see what she sounds like. Is it in tune? Ooh, definitely not in tune. All right, so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it looks good anyway. Um, I'm gonna tune it up and uh, maybe check out the setup a little bit. And then I'll play it a little bit and uh, see what it sounds like. I had to retune it again. Uh, it could be these strings, but uh, that's the third time now I've had to retune it in the last. 20 minutes 30 minutes as soon as I get done with this video I'll restring it with some of my strings and see what I can you know see if I can solve that anyway um, so just tune it up messing around with the neck a little bit I definitely like the feel of the neck um, I was thinking it was kind of glossy earlier but I don't really have any problems sliding down it uh, it's a good neck I'm really liking this guitar I'm just gonna play it acoustically here for a second and let you hear that sounds Uh, you can see it's already going out of tune a little bit. Let me check on that. Yeah, I'm losing a little bit on the A. And to be honest, the uh, um, intonation on the A was a little off too. So I'm definitely going to have to look at that. I mean, I'm not surprised the guitar needs a setup. That's not a knock to me at all. Ooh, that's pretty hot. You gotta play that riff if you're playing a Telecaster, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Uh, I think that sounds okay. Um, I'll have to mess around with it a little bit, but.
So you can get some jazzy tones, uh, turning the tone off and playing out of this neck pickup. It's pretty nice. I have to say, this neck is uh, it's a little thin. It's a little thin. I got big hands. This is a really good neck. But for me, I, th I would like a little more substance here. But it's not bad. Definitely think I'm going to do a few modifications on it. I'm probably going to try some brass saddles just to see what it does. And I may replace these guys. I'm also going to change these. I'm also going to change these strings. Because I don't know if they're crap strings or what. But I don't like the way they feel under my fingers. Um, I hope it's the strings. I really like that. Maybe it's just a matter of dialing it in. Like I said, I'm not a Telecaster guy. So... Um, I'm going to have to spend a little time with this uh, sweet lady here and get to know each other a little bit. But overall, I really do like the feel of the guitar. I'm super impressed with the fret work. I'm super impressed with the grain in the body. Um, knobs feel good. Uh, pit guard's awful thick for, but you know, again, they're, they're not trying to make this really like the 50s. Um, really like the guitar definitely think it's worth the money um sounds really good and it feels really good too i'm really impressed okay now that i've had some time with this guitar i wanted to uh go over it a little closer um when i first unboxed the guitar i was just kind of getting to know it and screwing around a little bit see how it sounded but i play with it a little more now and uh so i kind of want to take you through it and show you what I like and what I don't like about this guitar. There's not a lot that I don't like, but there's a few things. But uh, the first thing I want to do is give it a fair shot through the pickups. So I'm going to go through each position again and kind of play the same thing so you can get an idea of what the differences are. I don't know if it's this guitar or what, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of versatility out of this tone knob uh, compared to other guitars that I've played. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to go through the pickups here and show you what they sound like. And then we'll talk about uh, what I like and what I don't like about the guitar. Okay, I'm going to start with the neck pickup. Okay, now I'm going to move to the middle position. Okay, now I'm going to go to the bridge position. Alright, so that's how each pickup sounds, or each position. Um, I think it sounds great, and I definitely think that the tone is very versatile on these pickups. So, uh, I'm really happy with this. Okay, so it sounds like I'm a little out of tune, and I want to mention this again because uh, if you noticed in the last video, I kept talking about the tuning. I have changed the strings on this guitar um, and put strings on it that I like, and I like the strings now a lot better, and I think it plays better, so you may want to change the factory strings when you get them. I was having some tuning problems at first, and uh, it's still slipping a little bit. I don't know if that's uh, my stringing job on these tuners or if maybe it has something to do with this nut. I'm not great with the vintage tuners. They're kind of frustrating to me. Um, maybe I did something wrong, but it was slipping before I restrung it. So I'm guessing it probably has something to do with the neck. So at some point, I'm going to uh, uh, clean up the neck a little bit, and I'm probably going to replace these tuners with some locking tuners. I'm really excited that the guitar is intonated perfectly. When I was looking up Telecasters, I was doing some research on the barrel saddles. I found a lot of people said they really have problems getting the intonation set correctly uh, on these saddles. So... I was really happy to find that the intonation was perfect. Um, I mentioned in the first video that I had a problem with the A string, but once I restrung it, it was fine. So I'm really excited about that. I'm probably going to put brass saddles in here because um, I was looking for the 50s uh, vibe, you know. 
So I want to try it with brass saddles just to see what it sounds like. Um, but I'm a little nervous about that because this is perfect. So out of the box, this thing comes set up pretty good. Uh, I do recommend changing the strings, but other than that, it's good. Okay, so now I want to talk about the pros and cons of this guitar. Um, there's a lot of pros, not a lot of cons, but uh, I just kind of want to go through my opinions on it. So we'll start at the headstock. Um, tuners, uh, again, I'm going to replace these, having some slippage issues, and the vintage style tuners are uh, just a, a slightly bit of a pain to me. Uh, again, I'm not that experienced with them, so maybe that's my fault. So don't hold that against the tuners. If you like them, that's fine. But I don't like them, so I'm probably going to put some locking tuners on here. Um, the nut, like I said, I think it's fine. Uh, it just needs to be cleaned up. I'll run some strings through it. Um, next, let's talk about the neck. I think the neck's great. Um, I thought it was going to be really glossy based on some of the videos I've seen and based on the uh, 70s jazz bass I have that's a classic vibe. That neck is really glossy and sticky, but this one I really have no problems with. Um, it's a slim C, so it's a rather thin neck. Um, I probably would have liked to have seen it a little thicker, but no problems with it. Uh, I've gotten really used to this and I like the neck. Uh, the fret works really good. Um, no tooling marks, no sharp edges, nothing like that. It's all really good. I will say that um, I've had some gritty spots on here. Um, so I'll probably polish up the frets uh, once I take the strings off of this guitar and do a little work on it. Uh, but that's not a big deal. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, pickups, I have no plans of changing the pickups. I think they're really good. Um, I'll say this pit guard is thicker than your typical one ply pit guard. So if you're looking for period correct, this ain't it. Um, if you're looking for something that'll last a little longer, this is it. So um, it's kind of a neutral thing there. I am going to replace the saddles with some brass saddles. I know these sound good. So if I don't like brass, I'll go back to these. On the controls, um, nothing wrong here. I would say that if I was going to replace anything, I'd probably replace the switch. But it's not a bad switch at all. And uh, these knobs are great. And I haven't looked at the wiring yet inside, but um, like I said, I'm really impressed with what I'm getting out of this tone knob. So that's pretty much uh, what I like about the guitar. I'll say there's one big downfall to this guitar, and that's the weight. She's a hefty girl, I have to say. Uh, I weighed it, it was close to 10 pounds. So that's a heavy guitar. You know, there's nothing that's not giggable about this guitar. And if you got a strap that had some padding on it or something, it might not be a problem at all. It's not uncomfortable in any way uh, sitting down or standing up. I just think that if you were playing all night, it would start to wear on you a little bit. Um, but that's really the only flaw I can come up with with this guitar is it's pretty heavy. But uh, for the rest of it, uh, anything that I don't like, it's just a personal preference and I think I can change it. The only thing I can't do is, you know, add some thickness to this neck and take some weight out of this body but um, overall I'm super impressed with the guitar if I was going to rate it I would give this five stars because I think for the price um, it's fantastic and I, when I say that I don't mean that's a great guitar for that much money what I mean is this guitar is worth way more than what you're paying for it uh, you're getting a lot out of this it feels good it sounds good uh, it's a great guitar it really is so uh, believe the hype um, this is my second classic vibe. Like I said, I have a bass. Um, I used it to gig with for probably two years. No problems with it. It sounded really good. And uh, I think this thing sounds really good. So uh, if you're in the market for a guitar and you don't want to spend over $500, uh, I definitely don't think you can go wrong with this for sure. So that's all I've got. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Um, and if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I put out new videos. I really appreciate you checking it out. Take it easy and keep playing.